Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we're going to have a little series on why you should stay in Windows 10 and there's going to be a few videos talking about different aspects of Windows 11 that makes you may want to maybe rethink going to Windows 11 or not and that you might be very happy and fine in Windows 10. We'll also have some videos of things that I've heard about Windows 11 from Windows 10 users that are wrong. So first, we're going to look at why should we I stay on Windows 10? Well, the obvious for a lot of people, the minimum requirement. So the minimum minimum requirement is not going to change. Microsoft is still saying that that's that and forget it. Uh, for example, the machine I've got here, nope, it cannot go to Windows 11. Why? Because this is a Intel Core i5. It would probably run Windows 11 fine but it's a fifth generation here. So you see it by the first number of the CPU number. You have to be at eighth generation or later in order for this to work. So that means this PC is going to stay into Windows 10 until the end. And from there, we'll see what we're going to do with it uh, when it gets to the end. Of course, I won't throw it away. It's still a fine machine and it will probably be okay possibly uh, turning it into a Linux machine to uh, have different machines. I like to have different machines running, including different operating systems. So the minimum requirement, uh, the TPM 2.0, isn't that bad. And that was the one that a lot of people were going crazy at first. Seems that that actually is not what is really the worst case problem here. It's much more the CPU generation uh, in general. And of course, uh, that minimum requirement won't change. Yes, you of course can use an image of Windows uh, 11. And by the way, because I get a lot of people saying, well, here are the tips and tricks and things to change an image. You don't even have to do that. Microsoft already lets you install it on older machines. As long as you do a clean install with the image, it will let you go through even if you're not supported. It's just going to tell you it's not supported. And so that means what if you ever go on an unsupported Windows 11? We're not really sure Microsoft will let it run for a while. That's for sure. They at any moment could technically say, hey, this is the end of the road. But um, you know what? You're OK on Windows 10. It's fine. It works great. And you know what? It's a tried and true system. It's been around for a long time now and it's very stable. And we know, you know, we're going to get just small updates for the future, which is perfect. I mean, who wants to have the really huge uh, cumulative updates and, and feature updates of the past? For most people, it's a nuisance. So you know what? Just stay on Windows 10. It's just fine. And you don't have to do anything. You're okay as long as you move on to the next versions um, from time to time. You'll be supported till the end of 2025, so more than three years left. Uh, you got time for uh, to think about the future of your PCs and, and what you want next. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.